We're looking at a couple of trauma kits today. This is the ATS gear small med pouch and multicam. Neat little pouch. The ATS pouch is similar in size to the Eagle Med pouch. Only this, my Eagle Med pouch here, I have loaded quite a bit heavier than I have my ATS pouch at the moment. So, a couple of the neat features of this pouch they have some Velcro on top for identifying as a med pouch or any, uh, any blood types or anything like that that you need on there. I run some shears just down the the pal's webbing on the back. And it's five pals high by three pals wide. So when this is mounted on your gear, what you need to do to access it, release the buckle. Now it exposes a red pull strap. So when this pal's part is mounted on your gear, and you've released that, now you just grab this red strap, which is obvious that that's life-saving supplies. Rip it from the, the Velcro backing, and now I have a portable trauma kit that I can bend down, give aid to somebody, or give to somebody else, or anything like that. Or what's also useful if you have too much gear on the front of your gear and you need, you know, you're working with a team and you have to have it mounted on your back or somewhere else, it just makes it a lot more convenient. And that's just a Velcro backing on here. We get the inside of it here. And if you notice, they also like on uh, some of the other gear has real recessed, deeply recessed zippers. So they're covered, keeps blowing sand or dirt or anything out of there. And when you open this up, it's designed to pretty much open up flat to access the the gear to work on something. Uh, keep a four inch Israeli bandage over here. An air a nasal airway with lube. A little curlex. Tourniquet. Another roll of gauze, and then, uh, you know, with all these elastic keepers, there's also a tie down up here, and then there's this little pocket down here, which is just about right for a pair of gloves. Pretty basic, pretty small, yet still big enough to carry all your crucial life-saving gear. This is the ATS small mid pouch. The way I have it loaded here, you're looking at approximately four inches wide by about four inches deep. By about six and a half inches high. Uses three columns wide by five channels high. 